Hello everyone. Today I'm going to go over my packing list that I'm carrying pretty much for my um, for bike packing on the Western Express route that goes from Pueblo, Colorado to San Francisco. So I've tested this out a little bit yesterday and a little bit before that, but I'm just going to go over what I've got from tail to stern. So first, got the Revelate Terrapin bag, which I'll detach now or detach the uh, dry bag part of it. Dry bag, carrying my sleeping bag, my rain gear. So, jacket, rain pants. So I get the right stuff in order. This is my sleeping pad, uh, Thermarest Neal Air. Say over shoes for rain clothes. And off bike clothes slash sun clothes. Or say pants, khaki pants. Say, since I don't have lightweight shorts that I'd like to use, a sun shirt. And then my top glove sleeping bag. The oh uh, what's the name? Uh, the Sierra Snibbler that I've shown you all before in another video. So that all goes there. So, and if you keep your eyes open, you may see sleeping cats in the background. Um, I used a uh, top line hitch in order to tie on my tent, single man tent on the back. Make sure there's no spiders on there. I have a 50-50 shot of, all, of doing these uh, daisy chain knots right. Either I, either I do it right and it all comes, comes undone smoothly, or I do it wrong and I have to do this. I haven't figured out what I do wrong for one versus the other because I don't make them enough in order to really try to figure it out. But in any case, top line hitch, really handy by the way. You can tighten and snug up. You can snug up and loosen stuff. You can snug up and loosen stuff quite easily. Say, so, if you haven't ever used it, I would recommend it. But because of the way I have this routed through here, I have to undo the actual knot to get the tent off. But since there's straps on the tent, I actually don't need to do too much in the way of uh, in the way of tying it down. And this is an REI quarter dome tent. I don't think they make this anymore, but. It's been a useful tent for bike touring before. Um, Revelate Designs gas tank, in which I have my favorite mix for on the bike eating. Why well, I can get it, M&Ms and nuts. Now I've got two mountain feed bags up here, which I wouldn't need to necessarily do this because that this will generally last for several days. Um, or uh, at least two days. But up here, I've also, just for testing sake, a big bag of Gorp thrown in. Make sure you're all able to see this. <laughs> yeah. And another bag of burp. And I got caught in a rainstorm for quite some time yesterday. And while there's a little bit of moisture that's still collected on the outside of these bags, they are quite good inside. So well, you could put stuff straight into this and go, eh, I don't care. But that's pretty good at keeping moisture out, especially with the cinch shut. But personally, I prefer to keep it shut and to wrap stuff in plastic. Meanwhile, in the frame bag, <coughs> the Ranger I believe is what it is, I have my maps. I took a test ride yesterday on the CNO for 155 miles, so I didn't need it, it felt appropriate to test with it. Um, Arm, arm warmers, 
And if I'm lucky, I'll grab the accompanying leg warmers. A uh, clever trip, trick that I figure out for that, especially for helping find both of them in, in here, wrap them together. So roll them up together, um, each pair. And rain slash wind jacket. And tortillas, because they're flat already and you don't have to worry about crushing your bread. Um, leftover bit of cheese that I still need to go through. And I continue going further down. A uh, mechanic bag with, you know, spare inner tube, tire levers, zip ties, uh, sponge, bike, oil, bike chain oil, patch kit, master link, um, some spare links of the chain type that I use, and um, get it, get it. electrical tape. And I get it further down. A water filter, because I might need it out there. Although from the way that I've been planning stuff, maybe not, so. Um, so yesterday I went riding and I, I only took, I only drank water that I brought with me. And so I put three liters into my camelback that I started off with the day. And then I put in whatever felt appropriate and comfortable by volume up into here. And in here, I put, oh, so this is a dra MSR dromedary bag. And I believe it's rated for, well, I know it's rated for six liters. Um, I believe I put in uh, about five probably yesterday because when I put it in six, it just seemed like too much. And it didn't fit up here on the rack very well. So, uh, this is, again, ah, I did the daisy chain right for a few links. And so, this is also, again, cinched on with a top line hitch. Although I got the angles a little weird, so it doesn't quite work like normal. And undoing the knots. Um, and then in addition to the top line hitch, I routed the cordage around and through, carefully making sure that I'm catching, there we are, that I'm catching um, multiple places for it to latch onto, because unlike the tent, which by its rigid structure makes, hello, okay, you're eating something weird. Um, Cat's doing weird things. Um, unlike this tent, which I can get away with not having too many points of tie down, because this is a big loose water bag, you have to have it cinched down everywhere because it will jostle. And I've not had it fully fall off. I've not had it fully fall off before. But I would very much prefer to not have that actually ever be a uh, significant problem. So. As you can see, I got caught in rain yesterday and there was a fair chunk of mud left on the uh, CNL. But also, I think about have a half liter of water still left in this. And I've got a half liter of water in that little spare bottle that I keep. So, that would indicate, at least to me, that at least for how I end up needing uh needing water that's oh probably seven liters for an entire day of 100 like 155 miles with part of it being in uh part of it being in like 95 degree 100 percent humidity kind of temperatures just miserable sweaty um ends up being pretty good in here i have my sunglasses case and my so this is my Ortlieb handlebar bag, right up here. And in it, I have sunglasses case, but because you don't want to waste space, I put in long fingered gloves, um, over mitts for rain. And also in here, I'll end up putting in um, my balaclava, 
just so that I've got it in case it gets really cold and miserable. Also up here, I put in my med slash uh, toilet trees bag. And I'm probably gonna pare this down a little bit because it's just got enough stuff that I could do a trauma kit for a couple people kind of thing. Um, I keep my wallet in here, but I'm not gonna show you that because I won't have to worry about hiding anything. Um, my Leatherman Wave because of uh, those pliers particularly. But also because of the knife and serrated knife and usefulness like that. Uh, Chamois butter. I also keep a little bit of cash up in here, but you keep it bundled up together with a tight with a cinch tie because if you don't, it's going to wander, which is a big pain. Um, anything else in here that you all need to see or know about? Oh, uh, these are multi uh, like bits for the Leatherman Wave. I have two sets of them in here. If I can get them both out. Maybe not. Um, this is a spork that I carry. And it's got multiple uh, wrench sizes and all that kind of thing. And bottle opener. And yes, two bit kits, which cover pretty much every bit that I ever end up normally having. And in my pocket on here, because I end up fiddling with fit and stuff pretty heavily while doing long rides, uh, multi-tool with the uh, size that I'm probably fiddling with up and ready. In addition to that, I wear the uh, UV protective clothing that I've shown you all before, like the arm and leg covers that make me look like a, a great white ghost. And I started wearing this, not because I need it here, but because I'm figuring in Utah, Nevada especially, with all the sun, it will be wise for me to have that and to um, to be able to cover up my face from reflective sun getting on everything. Then I've got a cycling cap made out of um, synthetic material that wicks very well. Um, liking it pretty well so far. It's comfortable. Uh, helmet with uh, headlamp zip tied to, of course. And let's see. Um, and then, of course, jersey. I personally prefer bib shorts for these longer types of rides. And let's see, what else do I need to go over? Um, well, you can see on here that I've got a bike pump attached right there. I have front and rear lights, which is very nice because I can ride into night and not have to worry about battery power running out and all that kinds of misery. Um, and, oh, also for comfort's sake for these longer, longer rides, I've got um, arrow bars for being able to essentially just lay down and just contemplate life uh, and give your hands a break especially and maybe just a little be a little bit more aerodynamic than you would be otherwise but I'm still dialing the fit in on those because it's something it's a newer set for me but uh, yeah and that pretty much is all of it except for the little details of what's in the different things um, oh and also while I didn't end up doing it very much yesterday, it's okay, boy. Um, I didn't end up doing it very much yesterday. Let's say there's still plenty of room in here for uh, sort of bulkier but lighter items like you know a bag of chips. Or um, this morning I realized that I should be putting all of my rain gear into here instead of taking up important limited space in my dry bag because it doesn't matter if all this gets wet. Um, so you learn by practice and between all those different layers with rain with uh, with my arm and leg warmers and the 
Let's see if I can find it quickly. The uh, wind slash light rain jacket and the heavy rain clothes. Um, I'm pretty confident I'd be able to go down to uh, freezing-ish temperatures at least for a little while without being too miserable. And with the um, combo of long finger gloves and over mitts, the rain mitts uh, that you can have, that I can have. And just so you can see what they look like. This is standard plastic, long rain over mitts. These are from uh, Z Packs. Be between all of that, I should be able to make sure that I'm comfortable at relatively cool temperatures and without too much, uh, too much problem of um, not of not ever using something that I've brought with me. Um, in addition to that, I'm probably going to end up having to pack like some kind of a uh, lock and cable combo. But those always, when I've done that, those are never like a huge weight burden, so I'm not too worried about that. But pretty much that, oh, and also of course my cycling computer, because my brain goes dead without data. Um, and yeah, I think that's probably going to be it. So I hope this has been helpful, and I'll try to get this posted as soon as possible. Thanks for your time. Bye.